Next, let's take a look at the Redshift tab. The Redshift tab is the most similar to probably something that you've seen of Redshift before. It's got the basic and advanced mode. I like to work in the advanced mode, um, but here you've got all your things like your sampling. I generally don't like to use automatic sampling. I kind of like to determine that on my own. Um, and then it's got your motion blur, globals, uh, your trace depths and all that stuff. One thing that is kind of different is that with Houdini is that the environment, uh, the, the Redshift environment like volumetric scattering is actually on the redshift node. So if we go over here and turn on volume scattering, uh, the tab, you can see that we have a section here where we can enable um, that uh, volume scattering. So I'm just gonna turn it on for a second here and let's just fire up the render and see if this uh, light is casting any fog into the scene. And it is there. You can see that you can adjust the scattering amount to 0.01 and you can get that kind of fog fall off uh, just kind of uh, built into this redshift render node right here. So it's just something to keep in mind uh, if you're looking to add any volumetric just overall redshift environment to your scene. So I'm going to end that. I'm going to turn that off and end the IPR.